I'm here at the red carpet premiere of the new film, Beautifully Broken. So I decided to get very personal with people here on the red carpet and ask them about a beautiful, broken moment in their lives. So you've been broken in the past. Yes. Talk to us about the experience of you being broken and how you pulled yourself out, hence the film, Beautifully Broken. You know, it's like... <laughs> Everything that we learn and everything that we go, it's like, you know, in church and you know everything you hear, it's like a training ground. And then life hits you and it's just like, what are you going to do? Because you, you was doing a whole lot of talking about it. Are you going to be about it? And so I just dove into prayer even when it was hurting and it was kicking my butt and it didn't feel like things were changing. You know, the year my father passed, so much stuff happened that people don't know about. It was just like, oh, I'm, I'm just going to lose my mind then. I mean, I guess it's just okay for me to be crazy considering all that I've gone through, but something inside side of me would not let me just give up and let go and I just kept fighting even when I didn't want to fight I still couldn't give up for some reason but um, but getting through that uh, I, I'm now to the beautiful part you know what I'm saying and, and I feel beautiful on the inside and my strength is back and I feel stronger than ever and like I want to bring up the next person when I was younger I was bullied really badly and um, it was just really terrible I was about seven years old and my parents allowed me to pour into art and I allow I was allowed to go into theater and that was a huge part of my healing is to turn all that pain into passion and I'd say that's what all the characters do as well they pour their pain into others and they use what they have that's inside of them to really go to greater heights and give hope to others so that I, I mean I don't know if I didn't quite do that but I definitely went into the arts and that has been the most healing factor in my life a few years back our family experienced a, a, an incredible tragedy my my nephew was about 13 years old and was killed by a drunk driver. And coming from a very strong religious background, being a preacher, a pastor, I found my place, I uh, found myself in a place of brokenness, uncertainty, even questioning faith. But uh, the reality was my faith was stronger than that experience. And so to have hope and trust, even though I did not understand why that happened, why God would allow that to happen, uh, I found that my faith is what I can lean on. And love and faith is stronger than death. And so uh, it was a journey and it's still a process. Uh, but thanks be to God, God uses all of those things to teach us more about Him and more about having faith and trust. And it teaches other people to be inspired through your story and through your testimony because it shows people they can make it through as well Absolutely. and pull themselves out. And I love the title, Beautifully Broken. Was there ever a moment in your life where you felt broken and how did you pull yourself out of that? Well, thanks. Thank God to a praying mom and dad who never gave up on me. You know, I knew that there was a destiny on my life even when I was in the gutter, but I had to crash and burn. And uh, that was a long time ago, almost 40 years ago in 1979 and, and had a, just a real encounter and just changed my life, you know, but um, I just kept hanging on to the promises of God even though I was living like hell yeah. and uh, but I, I knew there was a destiny on my life you know and I'd, I'd never forgotten it but sometimes you have to hit rock bottom it doesn't happen to everybody but it certainly happened to me and um, I'm a grateful man uh, actually it was about a year and a half ago uh, before I was on Project Runway <laughs> uh, right before and I was ready to give up. I was ready to move on from modeling. I thought my time was up. I thought that it was just over. Uh, but thankfully I had people, I have a good squad of people who came around me and said, no, you might be delayed, but you're not denied. God is not done Amen. with you. Amen. And you're gonna hold on, you're gonna press through. And I had to tap back into my confidence and pull myself together. And that's what I did. And literally, I changed my mindset. I created a, a thing in my head that, you know, jobs were hunting me down and that new opportunities were coming to me every day. And they literally did. From uh, me being on the Steve Harvey show, to them being on Project Runway, to now I'm about to drop my very first book called Make the World Your Runway. All right, congratulations. Um, thank you. My brothers and I with D3 Entertainment Group, we grew up, you know, homeless and definitely broken. And so I'm so thankful to God really that we don't look like at all what we've come through or what we've been through. Um, and, and also brokenness is not, I'm trying to change the connotation that people put on the word brokenness because everybody has a story and the brokenness in our lives oftentimes pushes us to 
the greatest platform in our life. And so if we would understand really that all things work together for good, brokenness is just a part of, of the journey. And we thank God in brokenness, we thank God in beauty, but it's all for purpose. And now people are going to be like, Lord, please break me. I but hope you know I get what? broken. Sometimes you have to be crushed yeah. and broken to get to the next level in your life. I love that. You have to. Yeah. And look where you come to now. You've come um, so I far. I am a living witness, yes. Amen. And that's yes. why I think it's also important for people to see this film and share their testimony so other people know they can make it through the down the valley. They can make it out. Your testimony is what will help another person get through their situation. So without a testimony, what are you? Who are you? That's so, yeah. Bigger, stronger, better because of it. Absolutely. Yeah. You're talking my talk now. <laughs> well, for those people who are broken and going through those challenges, what advice do you have for them? Look up. God loves you. And tomorrow we'll bring better things. Just remember, in bad times, God is good. He's still there and always will be for you. They still have hope. Jesus uses the word overcomer. He doesn't use the word Christian in the Bible. And seeing people overcome these circumstances is really going to impact people. Love always triumphs, no matter what. Forgiveness is always a good thing. There is, I know it's cliche, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. When you hit rock bottom, God is your rock, and that's where you build from. Forgive for yourself. Just love yourself and love others. Forgive yourself and live again. Any advice for those that are going through those current challenges? Well, the, the key word is through. You know, it says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and that's important. You know, not to stay there, not to be stuck. I mean, it's natural. Like, this film deals with challenges in a very realistic way. It deals with faith in a very realistic way. People facing hard times, and how are you going to walk through those times? And it's not all, you know, lollipops and roses. So I think that's an important part of walking through, is just realizing it's going to be hard and being okay with that. Being okay with pain and just saying, all right, but I'm going to press through. Stand strong. Um, you are exactly where you need to be. Like the children of Israel at the foot of the Red Sea, it looks like life is so incredibly over for you, but that's the place where God is going to do his greatest work. So being in that place, while it doesn't feel good, trust God. You are exactly where you need to be for God to do something great in your life, period.